instead of trying understanding abstract concepts about flakes, let's just take a basic uh, Nix expression and try to improve it and see what we will get. I'm under trapping, let's go. Here you can see very basic Nix expression on the right, which just imports Nix packages and uh, creating a derivation which contains few build inputs and one of them is Python 3. We will try to evaluate right here. We will try to evaluate this Nix expression and we'll get a Nix shell with this uh, package installed. Right now, if I type Python, it can't found anything. And if I type Nix shell main.nix and type Python, I get Python 3.3.7. It's good, it works. And my mine.nix uh, looks like import of test.nix uh, file written on the right. And uh, on the first glance, it uh, seems like nix is poorly functional uh, language, but in reality, it's not because it depends on global variable. And as you can see on the left, I don't pass any arguments to the script, to the expression test.nix. But here in test.nix, we use some global variable, which uh, can have different values depending on your setup. For example, if instead of uh, just evaluating main dot nix file i will evaluate it with uh, some environment 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 variable changed uh, for example i will change uh, the value of it to nix packages equal to channel nix and stable and we'll type python you can see that version of python will be changed which is not cool because we didn't change anything in the script. And here we doesn't depend on any global state. But right here, the global state is used. And it's one of the problems. Uh, some implicit state inside maybe even uh, nested expressions that we uh, use from other developers or from other repositories that is not under our control. And it's relatively bad because it's reduce purity and reduce reproducibility of such expressions. And how we can fix it? Uh, first of all, uh, to make more control on that, Instead of uh, using some global variables, we can pass them as function arguments. For example, I can uh, make this expression to be a function instead of uh, attribute set. And this function will be accepting what it will be accepting. Uh, for example, packages or, or le let's uh, say nix packages and maybe something else. And instead of referencing Nix packages itself, it will be using just argument passed to this function. And we need to pass some argument here. Nix packages equal to Nix packages. Good. And now Uh, now we can evaluate the same code and it will it will work 
and also uh, all nested code now doesn't depend on any external state like Nix packages. But our um, main.nix have this dependency on external state, uh, but we can improve it and instead of using global state, we can uh, specify exact version of Nix packages here. For that, let's define something like uh, packages equal to, oh, let's just take this code and uncomment it here and packages. I define Nix packages equal to exact version of git commit. And now I run this code and I see Python 3.8. Uh, it's kind of expected, but uh, let's remove this nix pass variable and run this code. And I still get the same version here. It works this way because we frozen this nix package uh, packages version and now we don't depend on any global state and uh, you can change any global state right now and the value of this nix expression will be the same. The problem appears that when we want to update nix package version we need to change this revision to exact version and also if the same uh, statement used in other files you need to keep track of all those files. That is why uh, it's a cool idea to use uh, a separate mechanism to uh, specify version or revisions of uh, some Git repositories used in all the scripts or in all the expressions uh, of your application or package or configuration. For that, uh, let's rewrite this code a little and let's do the following. Let's create flate.nix file. Oh, before doing that, uh, let's take a look at uh, this import. As you can see here, I use the whole, uh, the full path to this file. And if I distribute this file uh, to some person, uh, I can forget to uh, attach this file to this distribution and the person uh, will get some strange results uh, saying that there is no such file, actually kind of, kind of expected result. Uh, and it's another impurity of this uh, code that we are not sure that all the dependencies will be present. That is why it will be cool if someone will force us not to use global state like Nix packages in angle brackets and doesn't uh, and will force us not to use uh, those full, full passes uh, and to make us use only packages that uh, only files that are in our repository or in the repositories which we specified with something uh, with expressions like that. And let's rewrite it to more uh, isolated form where we don't use any global state and we don't use absolute passes. For that we will be using a mechanism pretty new mechanism which is not uh, released in stable branch yet, but which works already good. And uh, flake is basically a file which contains, which have attribute set. Uh, and this attribute set conta contains three keys. Description, uh, our test flake 
it contains inputs which is attribute set and we need for example unstable dot url equal to um, to github uh, nix os nix packages slash uh, nixos unstable i suppose and it co contains outputs and outputs is basically a function which accepts inputs and returns a hash map or attribute set uh, and this attribute set can uh, contain a lot of different uh, things but for now let's uh, say uh, actually which items it can contain you can uh, find in the source code of flakes but i hope in the future you will be able to find it in some documentation when it will be released and uh, the first thing that we want is default package and default package will be for x86 64 i don't remember how it's written uh, architecture and it will be equal to import of our test.nix and <coughs> arguments we will pass something like inputs dot unstable bam well, looks pretty good and let's check how it works now we are here and we can try to do something let's say nix flake init okay uh, we already have uh, flake dot nix file but we need uh, to have a git repository Okay, now we have git repository and now we need to add those f f files, at least to staged files or we can even commit them. And now we can uh, say nix shell uh, dot means uh, current repository yeah, and that's all. Cool, unstable is missing. Uh, unstable. Uh, okay, uh, one more thing. Uh, another uh, interesting uh, implicit argument that was passed to the uh, import function is system uh, which is equal to built-ins dot current system but in pure evaluation we forced to specify it ourselves that is why we have to write system equal to uh, x86 64 Linux I can sources variable ah oh, okay okay uh, uh, now it's uh, it has some errors but uh, analog uh, of Nix shell is actually not Nix shell but Nix develop it's a version of nix shell which uh, use flakes and uh, after we did it 
you can see that another file called flake log was created and this flake log file uh, specified exact revision and also the hash of uh, current version of unstable uh, branch uh, and now we have this version frozen and every next evaluation of this comment will produce the same result but if in someday we will want to update the revision of uh, nix packages we can just type nix flake uh, nix flake update uh, and we can specify which input we want to update for example unstable and it will try to fetch the latest uh, revision available in unstable branch and update flake log file but because we did it uh, just few minutes ago probably nobody committed to unstable branch yet and the flake log file will stay the same but uh, we already have pretty good mechanism to update uh, those dependencies and what we get now all our dependencies are specified in input inputs and all implicit dependencies like system or like uh, Nix packages uh, should be provided explicitly uh, and now the evaluation is pure and now this expression is fully reproducible because it doesn't depend on any global state yep that's all for today see you soon